Hello everyone and welcome to Hey guys, welcome to Binge <laughs> Or Bitch, where he talks And she talks And we eat Today we are in the heart of Henul And we found something really nice, something super authentic that comes all the way from Salem Tamil Nadu <laughs> Tamil Nadu, Salem, Tamil Nadu guys for, uh, This is proper authentic food from Tamil Nadu down south if you guys don't know what it is it's a food with a lot of spices uh, a lot of blends of herbs um, amazing wholesome flavors and um, just good good hearty Tamilian food um, okay so if you all haven't checked out our story we've already put up some what the place looks like it's so nice it's got a lakefront and it is so authentic it's so different to look at the 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 ambiance as soon as you enter guys is breathtaking it takes you back to those uh for the guys that actually don't know what a village life is how how it is down south in Tamil Nadu a lot of places look um, old school uh to be honest um it's got a lot of um brick walls and um, roofs. I love, look at the artwork. Yeah, the, the artwork, artwork that you have beautiful. behind us. This is, these are the kind of walls and um, their roofs are... Their roofs are thatched roofs? Yeah, it's thatched roofs um, with lots and lots of coconut. Yeah, palms. Coconut palms, yes. It's held up with it's held up with uh, what's that? Like wood. Wood, yeah. And the seating, <laughs> it's all it's so nice. It, it it's really really nice because it's got tables made of stone the benches are made of stone and, tr and, and trust me and at this point in time it's really difficult to talk because the smell that you get from the kitchen is so uplifting so many flavors it's hard to pick what what it is that you want to taste so much of food the best part about the kitchen which we got the privilege of seeing is that there are no stoves well, they is, have they have one stove they have one stove that is the, only for the kebabs yeah, that's because only for the kebabs it needs to be it, uh, temperature controlled yes, cooked to perfection but otherwise it is old style of cooking which is wood logs of wood wood logs it's yeah basic basic wood fire cooking guys nothing can get more traditional than authentic wood fire cooking uh, which is what the people that have actually tasted it it is it is amazing it's like it is food beyond compare cooked on wood fire is what I would say. Um, Absolutely. So the best part is, I think it's called Koruganadu food. That is yeah. the type of cuisine. I think I'm right. Um, we're going to have the owner come in in a little bit and tell us more about it to correct us if we're wrong. Um, okay, on our plates, what do we have? We've got something we've never done on Binge or Bitch and I think Sean's quite apprehensive because he's never done this ever before. First time guys. But in my case, you. I love this and this is the Ragi Mudde. So, do you want to Ragi Mudde is more, or I mean, as we all, the people that speak English know it as Ragi Ball. Uh, the Anglo Indians use Kali Ball. Kali Ball, Ragi Ball. So, it's, um, it's basically made with Ragi. It is gluten free, good for diabetic patients, um, helps with weight loss loads of vitamin D and it's just basically good for your health it's good hearty eating um, and to accompany that we've got two gravies one is a Nati Kori gravy which is um, country, chicken. country chicken it's a country chicken gravy and we have a mutton gravy to go with this um, along with that we have we've got um, a biryani a mutton biryani a typical mutton Tamil Nadu mutton biryani yes we have Oh, sorry, I, mutton biryani, yes. <laughs> and we've got fish fry and we don't like, th there's kotu parata again because of course we love kotu parata. But the best part is we found something else which we didn't know of and it's called kalaki which ends the meal in Salem and that is the mutton gravy mixed with egg. And it comes up into, it's like a little omelette which is quite cute. And we went to the end without going through the rest of the things. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, we have your traditional sea fish fry. Right? Um, basic. I mentioned that. Yes, we have um, that one. We have the. Pali Palayam. Pali Palayam. 
Pali Palam Sorry, if I may have got this word wrong. Uh, Pali Palam chicken, which is your normal chicken. And, and we have mutton bodies. We have, it's called the mutton kolar urinde. Mutton kolar urinde. Urinde. Urinde means balls. Um, yeah, it's a mutton. It's it's just fried mutton balls with herbs and spices. Yes. So if Rebecca's pronunciations are a little <laughs> off, <laughs> she's got she, she, the 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 yeah. English speaking. The Anglo. Yeah, the Anglo in her just comes out with a hurun there, but it's called hurun there. Um, thank you, mom, for giving me that number seven. The, the ability to pronounce words. Which is still uh, pronouncing <laughs> wrong 100%. Yes, so your mother's not going to be proud of you for that. Um, okay, first getting things, first into guys. this, we've got the ragi mundi and I'm enjoying this because I yes, can't. I'm, wait. I'm really happy and so about it, but like I said, I want to do this only for you guys. Um, another thing that you need to know about the restaurant uh, this is Kotnur Kitchen. Uh, the owner is uh, Ashok Narayanan, Ashok Narayanan, who will be joining us. Will be joining us in soon. a bit. Um, hopefully, the crowd allows him to come through. And um, yes, so the other thing that we, you guys need to know is everything is cooked fresh on a daily basis. So you have your breakfast, which finishes off by by ten. Yep. Um, as soon as they've been. Okay, so, I've got which is which. Which is this your? is the mutton and this is. This is the mutton. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, that is the mutton and this is the chicken. So, um, yeah, guys, for this kitchen is um, when I say authentic, traditional, it gives it, it gives it the same kind of meaning. It is basically food cooked as proportions. It is not something that is. Uh, unlike unlike most restaurants, they don't have refrigeration. They don't have uh, they don't have any preservation methods. It's just basic cooking. You have your breakfast, which finishes off by then they close. Everything is done. They move on to the lunch, which again is fresh, locally sourced ingredients, um, and just good good food. Do you know how to taste it? Do you know how to eat it? Yeah, I know how to eat it, but it's Do you just need to tell them how to eat it? Okay, guys, for the guys that don't know how to have your ragi mudde, uh, I may be wrong if I... I, I kind of know what it is from watching people eat, but I'm not so... so. You don't chew it, you usually yes. just swallow so it. So basically, it's just... It's mixed with the gravy. And it's, the mutton gravy is spicy. It is typical... It is authentic village type food, which is the best part about it. And I enjoy the ragi mudde. Sean's just trying to digest it. I'm yes, I am it. trying to digest it. Guys. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm not. I, I, well, some people may beg to differ, but I mostly like chewing my food. Uh, at least most of it, as much as I can. But it's an experience. And it's it is an experience. The, so the spices come out in the mutton gravy. Well, like I said, um, yeah, the spices. Wow, you can taste the, you can taste the pungency in the gravy. You can taste the pungency in the gravy. It's, it's like an uplifting kind of spice that makes you want to eat more. It's the kind of spice that will make you sweat, but get your endorphins running, which makes you want to have more. Yeah. Um, it is. Um, so yesterday we mentioned flavor profiles, and this one. Is off the roof with regards to the chili because that kicks back once you've had a good bite into it, and it is absolutely tasty. The ragi mude, as always, is not a very, it's a very uh, bland kind of food, it's like rice, it doesn't have too much of a taste. But when you compare it with the mutton gravy, it's the mutton gravy uplifts the ragi mudde, mm -hmm. and when it, it gives blends it a good in, coating. yes, it gives it a really nice coating. So it's very easy when it goes down your throat. So that's how well, it is. To be honest, I am struggling a bit, <laughs> but okay, we move to the next then, one no, for you. No, no, but at the end of it all, it's just the, no, I'm, I'm so having the same. So if you are not okay for people, as we said, for people who are not 
uh, like used to yeah, st- uh, swallowing the food because it is it is like a, you make it into a ball and then you swallow the food. Okay, so ragi mote you can say is uh, is is like is like it's not like it doesn't taste like sushi, but you need to have that particular palate for it. Because only when you have that palate, it'll be easier for you to eat it. It'll be easier for you to love the taste of it. Not everybody can. I think you should try that. this thing. Ragi mote the chicken. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Guys, I had I had. Uh, the ragi ball with the the nut kori gravy and um, basically country chicken country fowl country chicken is what we know it as the gravy again is got a lot of spices to it um, you can taste the onion you can taste the chili the coriander um, the, I don't think cumin goes into it but a lot of chili um, got a mustard uh, mustard goes into it. Uh, no, 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 I haven't tasted it. Honestly. It's um, it's just good, good whole spices. A lot of pepper as well. You get the pepperiness from the gravy. A lot of chili powder, guys. A lot of chili powder and chilies go into it. Um, I'm gonna taste the chicken, the nut, the the country powder. Oh wow! Okay, the two gravies are very, very different from each other. This is definitely. Can I have a water, please? <laughs> okay, so the nati koli is definitely got a spicy angle to it, and it is. Ooh, it's basically, lala. country chicken is is it's healthy to eat, uh, but at the same time, it requires a bit of spice when you when you make it. So, hence, <laughs> yes. Okay, y'all are gonna be uh, gonna be seeing smoke coming out of my ears <laughs> anytime soon. But that is really, really nice. We are definitely, we've definitely enjoyed the first part of our meal. Where yeah, and, and looking at the fact that I'm not much of a laggy, laggy ball kind of a person, I'm actually enjoying this. Okay, I'm going into the fish. It's been staring at me and calling my name. So, if you think there's something fishy and if you think you need to taste it, well, definitely, because I kind of sneaked in a bit of the masala before in my mouth and it was. It was good. <laughs> but the guys are actually know Rebecca personally. She's a big, big. Uh, I would say she's a ginormous fan of seafood. She loves seafood more than anything else. You can give her whatever you want. And uh, I think she would rather okay. go to the sea fish. Yes, we saw the fish being fed in the kitchen. And the best part is all of this, you can taste the firewood. You can actually, you've got that authentic taste to it as we said before because it is cooked over a wooden fire. The sear fish, known as the kingfish, is so well cooked. The masala, it is... As I said, it is spicy today. We're on a spice trip, but it tastes really, really nice. You can taste the chili, you can taste the saffron, you can taste the salt, you can taste the pepper, which is the basics of it. But each thing has its own taste, and I'm missing out something, but I can taste it, and I don't know what it is. Salt, chili powder, turmeric. There is cumin in it. There is a bit of cumin in it. Cumin and coriander powder. Of course, there is. Wow. Um, the flakiness of the seal fish, the king fish, guys, is amazing. Like I said, it's locally sourced ingredients in its freshest form. You can taste the freshness of the fish. It is firm, it is flaky, it's got a nice flavor profile. You get the... It's not overpowering in terms of the flavors as well. In, yeah, you've got a lot of spice to it. Traditionally, fried fish is a bit spicy. Excuse me. But, um, 
with regards to the flavors, it's wow. Really, you guys need to try this. Um, I think we need to give. Okay, I'm gonna try the biryani. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, guys, this is the perfect weather for a long drive, a, lo a long ride. And when you have something, when you can't exactly touch the beaches and see the sea, and you just want to look at something, you want, you want a change in scenery. This is where you should come. It's a beautiful ride. Kamanahali, y'all are the closest. This is in Hormavu. They've got, also got a branch in Henu. Hey, sorry, in Henu. In Kothnu. In Kothnu, sorry. And they've got two branches, easily accessible. Food is really, really nice. Food is super duper affordable. It is not expensive. It is back to basics, I would say. I think this week, our entire weekend has been back to basics. And it is beautiful. It is something that we've wanted in a while, haven't we? Okay, I'm tasting the now. Do you want to talk about it before you put the next mouth in your mouth? I mean, the next. Yeah. Sorry. Guys, it is fun. <laughs> the both of us. You're lucky you can't see our noses running because they haven't started. But oh yes, um, we're steaming. Wow, well, um, this is again traditional Bangladeshi. You can taste the coriander. You can taste the coriander. You can taste the spices that are gone into it. The um, the the masala. It's a short grain rice that is used traditionally in Tamil Nadu cooking and Tamilian style food. And um, the meat is cooked beautifully. It is succulent, tender pieces of mutton that is cooked to perfection and just amazing, amazing, good, hearty eating. Um, you can taste again, you can taste the tomatoes, the onions, the coriander, lots and lots of coriander used in this. You can definitely taste that. The spices. The masalas that are used are phenomenally good. It's got that perfect blend, and um, I am just loving it. And for Rebecca, it is. It does seem a little spicy, but I love this kind of food. No, for me, I'm this, it. yeah, I mean, it's spicy, but it's a good kind of spicy that makes you want more kind of spice, um, which is just amazing, guys. Yeah. And uh, it is just. It is just wow, really. It is amazingly, amazingly good. <laughs> it is, yes, Sean is right. It is spicy. I am. I can feel the heat coming on. But you do not want to stop eating this because the taste is so nice. The flavors coming out. It is just gobsmackingly good. And as I said before, this is like food that makes you feel so wholehearted. Food that makes you fall in love with food again, and the best part is it is authentic Tamil Nadu food here in India. I think he is stuck to tradition, uh, which is a good thing. Oh, we have a couple more things that we've we got have. quite a few <laughs> things, got to quite to try. things that we have. But I think we're yet. enjoying the same thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so moving on, we go to the balls, mutton balls, the <laughs> mutton polar burnde. Urunde. Urunde. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've broken mine into half and I'm stuck, sorry, I'm stuck in the biryani still. But they've got so much it, it's just a lot going on in this uh in this schema ball guys. Okay, uh, I can see I can see kind of uh, chickpea? No, not Am chickpea. Right? This is um, corn. Yeah, yeah it's kind of chickpea. Yes, it is a chickpea. A dried, uh, yeah. rather the fried chickpeas, mm -hmm. the fried chickpeas that are used oh. in this. Um, mm. okay. mm. This is like if we have, you know, like vadas. This is the same texture as a vada, mm -hmm. which is got that crunchy layer on the outside and the inside is super smooth it is it is minced 
so nicely and it's got taste like no other. I think we finally have the owner with us. Is the owner going to come and talk to us? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we've got Mr. Ashok Narayanan coming in to say hello and tell us more about this place. Do we have place? Yes, we do. Hi. Hello, nice to see you. Thank you again. How is the food? Oh, it is amazing. I, we still haven't gone through. We're still... Yeah, a little spicy. Yeah, yeah it's a little... It, um, but this is not the kind of spicy that yeah. is too overpowering that makes you want... Okay, you may have to talk a little louder. Yeah, it's head. not uh, It's not the kind of spicy that is too overpowering. It's got the night. It's got a subtle... Mm. It's got a lot of spice, but yes. it's the kind of spice that makes you endorphins yes, run. Yes, yes. Um, that makes you want to eat more. I personally mm. love spicy food, so for me... Me too. It's 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 a falling right into my lap. Um, your 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 biryani, your biryani is very very unique from the other biryanis that you get here. This is proper traditional Tamilian biryani, yes. Um, can you explain? Can you elaborate a little more about this? What are the what are the things that I understand that wood fire gives that extra bit of zing, that extra uplift. But besides that, what other that you don't have to give us all your ingredients. Okay. Obviously, you have some things that you would like to keep secret. Uh, what is it that you traditionally use in this kind of biryani, Tamilian kind of biryani? What other things that you traditionally use, like a couple of ingredients that you make? This is actually, this cuisine is called Konganadu cuisine. Konganadu. Konganadu cuisine. You can say it's a, it's a Salem cuisine. Okay. okay. Because uh, why we choose this particular cuisine is like I belong to that particular area. Mm -hmm. You, you are from Salem. I am from Salem. Yeah, you are from Salem. So it's, for, it's, it's easy for us to source the food, I mean the masala, yeah. and, and the ingredients, what is, what's supposed to be used, and the source of uh, the kind of manpower can be used to cook this food. Okay. That's the reason we, we use So you stuck to tradition all yes, the way, right all the from way. start to finish. Uh, so that's the reason we selected this cuisine. Right? And in terms of ingredients, what we hear, our, our spices mainly, what we use is Marathi mukta. You see the color of the gravy is like yeah. brownish mm -hmm. and cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. We use that. A lot of cinnamon. A lot, cinnamon. lot of okay. cinnamon and, and uh, there's something called Marathi Mook. Marathi Mook? Yes. I, I, I'm, not the, I'm not familiar about the English version of okay. the guys, for, for the guys that would actually know what Marathi Mook is, I think you can come a little more. Yes, yes, yes. For the guys that actually know what Marathi Mook is in English, Please feel free to yes, let us do know. let us know. We would love to know what it is. Um, yeah. So, so picture of that and rest is it's like if we all cook in fire. So I mean, the process is very true and very authentic uh, because the food will be it will be cooked the way it has to be cooked. Right. There will not be any shortcuts there. There is a particular time frame yes. that you need to cook and everything is so traditional. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, um, so the one thing that we realized when we went inside the kitchen was they do not have any freeze, uh, freezers or no, yes, fridges. There's no, the only thing they have is a cooler which they yeah. use for the greens uh, like coriander and stuff yeah. like that but it's not something that is kept for a long time. Yes. Uh, what, so like I said at the start guys, it's just cooked per meal. So your breakfast gets over by 11, they cook just enough for that. They move forward to lunch lunch is done and then they go to dinner so there's nothing that is carried forward uh they cook the right amount of food like i said locally sourced ingredients yeah. fresh food is what we have grown to love everyone loves fresh food and locally sourced ingredients and i think you guys have done a phenomenal job in this place the the food is authentic as authentic can be yeah. um the setting i think the food the setting all of it goes together and it's it goes hand in hand that when you walk in you're just so blown away and that's the first part where your eyes kind of open up and you're like oh wow i'm definitely going in to explore and then when you come in and you get the the, the aroma of the food that just whiffs your nose when it comes out of the kitchen and even if it's on someone else's table, you can still smell it. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think that makes your hunger pang even more. Yeah, you just want to eat that yes. extra bit. Um, another thing that we would like to talk is about the chicken. Can you tell us what the, it's... Here in Kothro Kitchen, we, 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 uh, we mainly focus on the country chicken. Yeah. The reason why, because uh, the country chicken is very healthy. And in this, we are into the, we are in a culture where you know we have less time and easy available in the market that is like boiled chicken. Okay. 
okay, which is not actually good for health. Yeah. Reason why? Because uh, one of our customers who gave us a demo actually. So that's where I learned about the uh, differentiation between boiled chicken oh, okay, and the country chicken. Between your normal chicken yes, that you get. Yes, and, and the normal the chicken. The farm sourced farm, chicken, farm chicken and your country, country chicken. chicken. Yeah. So he just gave me uh, small inputs, like you know, he showed me the video where he said that you know, uh, the boiled chicken can grow up to 2.5 kg within 48, 45 to 48 days. Oh, wow. So the amount of me medicine and injection they give to the chicken so that it can grow, grow, faster. That it's, it's, grow faster. It's like a mutation. Yes. yes. This and thing. the same if you see the country chicken, if you give 45 to 48 days, it can grow up to only 250 grams. Okay. So that's the difference between the boiled chicken and the country chicken. So the people are learning right now and they understand the importance of the country chicken and they're coming back to the roots say that yeah country chicken is good for health yeah. good for it's good for your health also so a lot of customers they we sell only the original country chicken it's not like even even in a lot of places they they, they do it in a poultry okay. yeah, yeah there are they they have farm methods yes of, they have uh, farm method to grow the chicken but here we we don't we don't buy them we buy authentic original country chicken so where the customers they search for the chicken and they come in there. Wow. Um, why do you name your place Kotunur Kitchen? Kotunur Kitchen, uh, we started, this is your second branch. The first branch is in Kotunur. Okay. So then I, uh, I, I was working in IT IT industry and in 2015 I resigned and I wanted to do do something uh, different project. Different, different, I want to start an eatery restaurant but I want to give something very different to, to the Bangalore. Yeah. So we, we selected that particular area. It's called Kotunu, okay. And uh, we selected the design, we selected the design, and the main thing, the name. So what we thought, okay, let's give the that local area's name yeah. itself. So we it gave basically where you guys started. Yes, where we started. Kotunu 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 Kitchen. 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 So you we gave the, that particular area's name as a Kotunu. Okay. It it became it became a landmark right now. Okay. Kotunu Kitchen. So that's nice, and um. Yeah, so um, the, the food is amazing. We've loved we everything. Are we are just enjoying it. I'm there sweating are a couple bullets. Of, <laughs> she's sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the spice, yes, guys. The spice can hit you, but it's that kind of spice that makes you want to eat more. Yes. Uh, another form of the chicken is, um, you told me this is... This is, this is pali pali chicken, and this is mutton, and this is... Uh, this is, this is your nut. Mutton, this is nati koli. That is nati koli. And this is the kola Your rande. kola rande. Yeah, and I've and given them most of the names. Okay. And then, what is uh, this and this? We've got that is your kotu paratha. That's, that a, that that, that's a kotu paratha. Uh, how they make it, like they, sm they, they cut small portion of uh, parathas okay. and they put it on the stone, which I showed you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, can, you can have a look later also, if it is, if it is required again. Uh, we put two eggs in that and add a little bit chicken or mutton gravy in there. And we smash it with a thing and it put on the fire on the stone. Okay. So that gives you that. Uh, it gives a different that's a signature yeah. dish of our kitchen. Oh wow! wow. So we still got two dishes to try, guys. We are going to try them, and this thing, the pali pali chicken is uh, cooked with a lot of coconut, as I can see. Um, do you finish the old okay <laughs> so um yeah it's the few things that she's actually finished guys like i said she is a big fan of seafood <laughs> and um yes so she loves seafood yeah, my fish beyond is compare cool. and um yeah fish is there. i've just kept a, couple, a piece on the side for me for later which i hope she doesn't take away from me I'm not that but <laughs> yeah but then um ashok thank you so much for the food yes, um it's been, it's been amazing the the atmosphere, the, the way we were welcomed, we just made us feel so welcomed and, um, you know, wanted at this place. And thank you so much for that. Most and, uh, yep, so we are will continue. continue. Yeah, please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure, sure. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so please, much. Take yeah. care. Alright, and um, now guys, we are moving on to the Pali Paliyam chicken, which is again, just by the looks of look it, you've got, you got a lot of dried chilies, you've got a lot of coconut, coconut curry leaf, coriander, all that put together, and um, she is not even waiting for me, guys. Um, mm. Don't 
things like this leave us speechless. It's not supposed to happen, but it does. Um, it looks like it's going to just blow your socks off. I think it's just by the look, by the looks of it, in terms of spice. But it's not. That but spicy. it's not that spicy. It's a very mild flavored chicken. I think the the fact that you use coconut and it cuts off the cuts flavor, a lot of the cuts a lot of the spice. Yeah, it's a very subtle spice, but you can taste the after effects of the pepper. That is true. And um, just um, sorry, yes. And yeah, so we are. Uh, we're not gonna. Uh, take up too much of your time because it's a Sunday and you need to eat and clearly we need to eat too. Um, oh wow, this is still hot. Yes. Uh, the cooking banana guys came about I think just before we started the video. Yeah. And it's still hot. Um, it it's basically egg, like you said, egg, gravy, coriander, cu curry leaves. And um, chicken. Yeah, uh, no, parathas. Broken into bite, bite sized pieces and just Pound it on like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so the last time we tasted kofta paratha was a while ago. Yeah, and uh, but this kofta paratha is oosh. it's um, amazing flavors, guys. It's got that. Ooh, it's got that spice to it as well. Uh, I think it's the chicken gravy that was used in this. It's the eggs. It's, it's yeah, it's cooked with a lot of eggs. Um, you get two eggs with a whole paratha, gravy, um, spices, mm, onions, chili, um, coriander, curry leaves, yep. and uh, just wow! It is, it is something. Um, it is divine, guys. It is so divine. It is like I said, good. Authentic. Uh, Konganadu cuisine. Konganadu cuisine. Sorry, guys, if I didn't get that name. It is proper authentic Konganadu cuisine, um, which is just amazing. The people that work here are so friendly. The yeah. the, the owners are amazingly friendly. Uh, the, the they help you when you when you're confused and don't know what to order. Yeah, and uh, like I said, it's just freshly sourced ingredients which are cooked on that day immediately as soon as they get it so it's not kept for the next day and uh, i think i think these guys you guys need to come for the guys that stay around kamnali henur lingrajpuram hrbr layout kotnur um henur you guys need to come and try this out this is normal hearty Konganadu cuisine. This is hearty, naughty good food. <laughs> this is hearty, naughty good food. <laughs> and um, yeah, guys. See, I think I just discovered the name, the the title of this. The video is going to be called Hearty Naughty. Jesus. Um. All right, but uh, yeah, guys. So we've enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, guys. We have enjoyed. Um, wait, we've... wait. Oh yes. Oh, How can you forget? The last, okay, the last bit. bit of it all is the kalaki, which is the egg and uh, Usually you go out, you go out and have dessert after a meal. Yeah, but here they don't. But here it's a little different. It is egg cooked with a little bit of gravy. It's like an omelette. But it's not. Yeah, it's It a, is, but it's not. Yeah. And that's very nice. I just don't know how to describe it. it is, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a Salem style caviar. No. Yes. The the texture is like the te a Salem. Caviar. Yeah, it's got that, it's got that creaminess to it. Um, I wouldn't call it caviar. It um. No, I meant the creaminess. The, the creaminess. Yes, it's a very creamy, subtly flavored, um, uh, fluffy omelet with. Gravy. Which helps you end your meal in the nicest way. Yes, and um, it's got loads of flavors, guys. And um, you can taste the gravy. It's it it's not too overpowering. You can get the creaminess of the egg. You can taste. You can get the onions. You can get the crunch from the onions. It's fresh onions. Again, uh, coriander used in it. Chilies used in it. And uh, 
it's a nice way to end the meal actually. It's the perfect way to end it's the meal. It's a perfect way to end this meal. And uh, I think for today we are done. We've taken up a lot of time. We've got some good authentic Konganadu cuisine food and we need to tuck in. So we are gonna go off camera and binge devour. Absolutely binge. binge. Yeah, absolutely binge beyond imagination and uh, finish everything that we have here so thank you guys for joining in i hope you enjoyed this episode please stay tuned for more I like you share it. and um comment comment spread the love spread basically the love. and like we've said at the start i know we haven't done this in a couple of videos if you guys think that we need to still improve on some things let us know. let us know if and you we think we need to do a bitch of the food give us a place to bitch about and we'll help you but until then, uh, we are enjoying what we are doing and um, thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more next week and bye bye. Bye bye. We're gonna finish off our food and hopefully the heat kind of drops down low.